consider that it's time to make a more serious threat to global agricultural production, the white spot symptom single handedly wiped out entire shrimp farms throughout the world. Attributed to a subset of viruses collectively referred to as a white spot syndrome, the colovirus complex, it forever changed Ecuador's random and shrimp industry. There is no known definitive cause for the emergence of the white spot. Discovery of the virus associated with it, the WSSV, took place in Thailand in 1990. The earliest documented widespread outbreak occurred in Taiwan in 1992. The collapse of China's shrimp farming industry in 1993 was also due to losses sustained after shrimp farms were besieged by the white spot. Shrimp farming industries in Japan, Korea, Thailand, India, and Malaysia likewise suffered. In 1999, even the Philippines reported white spot epidemics, a sign that it had spread all throughout Asia. By 1995, the virus had found its way into the United States, and by 1999, it hit Central and South America at a time when the Ecuadorian venom and shrimp industry was flourishing. Once infected with white spot, shrimps start exhibiting white dome-shaped spots on their shells and appendages, while their skin undergoes discoloration. Affected shrimp will also show a drastic reduction in food consumption as well as lethargy. Significant damage to their organs ensues, which results in death in as little as two days. In just a short period, entire shrimp populations can be eliminated. In Ecuador alone, over 63,000 metric tons, or $280 million worth of shrimp, were lost in the first six months that the white spot made its presence felt in shrimp farms. In 1999, prior to the white spot, Ecuador's shrimp exports amounted to 95,000 metric tons. In 2000, it dropped to only 38,000 metric tons. From 1999 to 2003, it is estimated that 267,000 metric tons of shrimp were lost, which represents USD $1.8 billion. The catastrophic consequences of the white spot spurred countries into action. Studies were conducted on the behavior of the white spot, particularly on the mode of its transmission, which were assessed to include reproduction, contaminated water, decomposition, and the consumption of or cohabitation of carriers of the virus. Temperature fluctuations were also noted to encourage infection. Ecuador heavily relied on genetic selection methods to ensure the culture of anime shrimp developed higher resistance against the white spot. The use of probiotics and drastic reduction of antibiotics in the treatment of shrimp also played a significant role in getting the white spot under control. Ecuador's Vaname shrimp industry finally started showing signs of recovery in 2003 when exports reached 58,000 metric tons. Ever since, it managed to control the virus, which is a key factor in the record export figures of 204,000 metric tons reached in 2012. The white spot is not something that has been eliminated. On the contrary, it still exists, but the aquaculture industry has learned to manage it. Producers remain on guard against any possible white spot outbreak, employing preventive measures described above. In some cases, like in Ecuador, companies that survived the white spot attribute much of the current shrimp farming boom to the techniques and practices used.